Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore an accidentally deleted folder. You will see several ways of doing it with Windows tools. And if standard methods fail, I'll show you what software will help you for sure. If you did accidentally delete an important folder from desktop or another directory in your computer, don't panic. You can try restoring it without any third-party tools. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialist will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. If you have just deleted a folder containing important data, you can restore it by pressing Windows plus Z. You can either delete a folder and press the key shortcut or right-click and select Undo Delete. The folder will be back in a second. Yet, this method only works right after you deleted a file or folder. If the folder was deleted some time ago, you can try restoring it from the Recycle Bin. To do it, open the Recycle Bin by clicking on its shortcut you can find on the desktop. If you don't see its icon there, go to Settings, Personalization, Themes, Desktop icon settings and check the boxes to show the Recycle Bin on your desktop. Go to the Recycle Bin, find the deleted folder, right-click on it and select Restore. The deleted folder will be back in a second. These two methods don't work if you deleted the folder with a key shortcut Shift plus Delete. If the data was removed without using the Recycle Bin, but by using the Shift plus Delete shortcut, or it was deleted and then the Recycle Bin was emptied, you may start thinking they are lost forever. Not yet. There is still a chance to get them back. Open the File Explorer, find the folder where the data was deleted from, in my case that is a desktop, right-click, select Properties and go to the tab Previous Versions. In the window that opens you will see several versions of this folder, but with different dates and time. You can open them and see which one contains the folder you need, then select the one you were looking for and click Restore, and the folder will be back to its place. You can also restore a folder from an archive. Restoring from archives is possible if you have file history function enabled. You can see how to turn it on by watching a video on our channel. Find the link in the description. In order to restore a folder from file history, go to the Start menu, Settings, Update and Security, Backup, click on More options and select Related settings to click on Restore files from a current backup. Choose a file or folder and click on Restore to its original location to have all files back to their old places. If all the methods I have described here couldn't help you, Hetman Partition Recovery will do the job, but you have to know where to look for the deleted folder. For example, by default documents, music and photos are stored in the current user's folder. The files and folders deleted into the recycle bin are still in their original locations even after you, after you delete them. The system just hides them from your eyes and later wipes them by overwriting by the other new data. The Recycle Bin only need keeps shortcuts to location of the deleted files. That is why you should look for the restored folder in its previous location where it had been before it was deleted. You can change the default location of the folder containing your documents by right-clicking on it, choosing Properties, and then in the tab Location you can change it by clicking Move and then selecting another directory. Alternatively, you can open the Start menu, Settings, System, Storage, and then select Save Locations where you can select the disk where to start documents by default, and then click Apply. As a result, the user's folder documents will appear in the selected disk. That is why before you start looking for the folder in its old place, make sure the default path has not been modified in the settings. To restore a folder with a special program, download and run it. Select the disk where the folder was stored, then select the analysis type in the recovery wizard and, in my case, the files were deleted just recently, so I choose Fast Scan and click Next. Then wait until the process is over, then click Finish. Now find the folder you need, right-click on it and select Recovery. 
This is when you choose the recovery method and click Next. Then choose the directory where you want to save the data and finally click Recovery. The recovery process can take some time. Finished. The data has been recovered to the specified folder. If the folder containing files was deleted a long time ago or the fast scan didn't help you, run the full analysis and then try to find the necessary data or use the search function. To do it, give the full name of the file and click Find. Then select the file you need and recover it like I showed before. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!